If you are new to my channel, welcome! My name is Mariana Palacios and I am a ballet pianist. How you accompany a melody with your left hand can change a lot the character of the music. As you saw on my video adapting La Chida en la Mano by Mozart and the Jazz Standard Autumn Leaves, I changed a lot the time signature, the character, the dynamics and the tempo of those original pieces. But I have to say that what helps most to change the dynamic and the character of the same melody is your left hand. Why? Because in your left hand you have the rhythm, the bass line, the, the harmony and all the, all the character of the music because you feel your music with your left hand. So today I'm going to show you two examples. The first one in a slow 3-4 and the second one in a faster 2-4. From the slow one, I have chosen the Disney ballad God Help the Outcasts from the Disney film The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Please help my people, the poor and down to run. So let's take the melody. And now with different accompaniments in the left hand. First example, I'm going to do it with only one chord, so half note, dot, half note. I'm going to keep the melody in the same register all the time so, so I don't change it, okay? I'm going to do a little bit of arpeggiato, arpeggiato chord, so it sounds more, sounds softer. Now the second one I'm going to play quarter note and half note. This type of accompaniment I do a lot for plies. I like it because it gives this kind of breathing and moving forward movement. So it gives calm, it, can, it gives also space. I use it a lot for plies. Another one now. I'm going to change and I'm going to play half note and then quarter note. As you see, sometimes I, I cannot keep it, but well, it, the general, the general, I want to give you the general feeling. This, maybe I would play it more for Ron de Jean, this kind of accompaniment, because it has more a circular feeling, like boom, cham, boom, cham, so it gives more weight into the first beat. Now I'm going to keep the left hand all in quarter notes, so more like a waltz feeling.
So with these walls, left hand, maybe you can play, you could play for a, even a slow waltz pirouette, or if they need to do another dance with a moving forward feeling, maybe you could play. Okay, so it gives more round, how do you say, circular feeling, like moving forward. The next one I'm going to play all in eight notes. I'm going to combine all eight notes and sometimes I will stop a little bit. I think more like first bar I do all eight notes, second bar I stop, third bar eight uh, notes, fourth bar stop. This I will play a lot for, I think, for plies or for rond de jambe. Good. And the last one I would play in eight notes but with chords. This is something that uh, Tchaikovsky used a lot. It, it has Tchaikovsky and other composers, of course, but, but for me it remembers Tchaikovsky style. Like all this Grandpa de De from Sleeping Beauty from Nutcracker. Like this. Okay, it's not easy to play, but I want to give you an example. I would play this as a tool for the end of the exercise, not for the beginning. So I would grow the exercise and at the end I would use this. Now for the fast tempo into four, more like a jumpy feeling, it could fit for Batman Jotes in the bar or maybe slow frappes and all the small jumps. So I have chosen the Swedish song from the TV series Madiken. Madiken, Madiken, pilota de pilot. It's a song that all Swedish people know, the kids like it, the adults like it, so it's a, it's a very popular song. The melody is like this. So I'm going to play it first with the bass Alberti that I, I've been uh, speaking about in the in other videos. It gives a calmer feeling and a kind of moving moving on um, dynamic. So it could be maybe for fast and fast and this in the center for the kids maybe. Dun -ding, dun -ding, dun. Now I take it in um, eight notes and jumping. So I'm going to take it in the same register as I took the bass alberti. I could even do it with bigger chords in the left hand using the octaves and more notes in the chords.
Okay, so this will be for small jumps and you can, of course, you can adapt the accent so you can do more up, down, 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 up, down. Okay, a more up, down. to do again eight notes but a uh, one bass and three chords This left hand is, is pretty nervous, so it gives this. It's not easy to play, but it's a resource that you can you can um, you can play from. For example, when a teacher uh, needs more accent, maybe for the jam, so you can you can use it. I haven't. I don't use this so much, but sometimes I use it. One more that you can use is eight notes, but alternating. So. Okay, I, I saw you. Sometimes I use this left hand for frappes because it gives this like lineal feeling, but then you have the accent in the melody. You can even use this resource to speed up a lot the melody. So you can still give a lot of energy in the left hand, but it's easy to play and you can speed a lot the melody. I saw you. So if a teacher asks for a coda or asks to speed a lot the tempo of your melody, you can use this left hand and you are not stressed like tutti tutti tutti. Okay? It's it's tuka tika tuka tika tuka tika. I'm I'm using the first, the fifth and the third. And one last tip for beginners, and even for me, I feel sometimes that my left is not so strong. So always practice the left because you will be practicing the melody, the bass line and the rhythm and the harmony. Try to start with something little. And then try to, to, to amplify this. Even for, for walls, you know, you can, for example, uh, with, the, with the other song, So if you practice, for example, the, this Tchaikovsky feeling that is, is, is complicated to play, so practice this. Okay, so it's very important that your left hand is strong and, and confident so then you can give all this energy that the, that the ballet exercise needs. I hope all of these ideas help you to, to understand how your left hand can make the music much richer and much more expressive. And also how you can use a fast tool when the teacher asks you for a change. So you don't need to change the whole song or the whole melody but you can change your left hand and give mm, hopefully the feeling that the, that the dancers need. 
Remember that I'm creating an online course, so if you want to receive the information when it's ready, sign up for the link that I leave here down below. And as always, uh, subscribe, give me a like, leave all the comments or questions or things that you would like to, to know more and to learn more and share these videos with people that can be interested. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!